Elvis Cato and the Late Show Band. Everybody, there you go. There it is. Lewis, Steve. Happy Wednesday. Thanksgiving happy Wednesday, is tomorrow. Do, right. do, you, do you cook? I do not. You do not. I order. You. <laughs> <laughs> you Uber Eats just like the Pilgrims did? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody over there a cook? Anybody making a turkey? Lewis, you're making a turkey? No, I'm not making a turkey, no. What are you making? I'm making a couple sides. You, oh, so you're bringing the sides to someone yeah, else. Because I thought greens. maybe you were just making sides, in which case they're not sides, they are mains. <laughs> no, I'm bringing them, yeah. Technically, that's nice. Nice get together? Yeah, yeah. Family or Friendsgiving? Family. Family, that's nice. All right, well, have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And you have a happy I'll Thanksgiving. See you guys, I'll, see you guys, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Coming up in just a moment, coming up in just a moment, we have two extraordinary performers coming out here tonight from uh, The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Peter Dinklage will be out here in just a moment. <laughs> Always a lot of fun. And a uh, wonderful comedian and from the podcast, Handsome, Tig Notaro will be out here in just a moment. Big fan, big fan of Tig. Now, folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there sourcing the day's finest news cedar and most topical story, mahogany, shaping it all into a sleek hull with throaty twin engine side throttles and a pinstripe foredeck to create for you the dazzling yet graceful Riva Aquarama motorboat that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I am disgorged from a ketamine trafficker's camper van in the Bronx River Forest, where I steal a tent from an abandoned bivouac and strap it to a discarded bike frame, which I seal up with some used duct tape, then scrimshaw a rambling manifesto onto a raccoon skull while drifting downriver aboard the listing smuggler's canoe of news that is my segment. It's medicine is what it is. It's a painkiller. It's a palli it's palliative care. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Scotland, a church bell that chimed every hour around the clock for the last 200 years has been silenced after one resident complained that their sleep was being disturbed. I know, local, local resident Angus Ferguson aired his complaint at a town meeting saying, Ugh! Tribach blether a drog a feig we crabbit can lock bell. And you can't argue with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dior has released a skincare line for babies, which includes $230 scented water and a $115 moisturizer, guaranteeing to keep your baby smooth and also to have their first word be why. <laughs> why? So young. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the lead up to the holidays, there's a new job opening for a Christmas movie maven to get paid $2,000 to watch and rank 12 Hallmark holiday movies. Wait a second, you're telling me a big city corporation is looking for a small town movie lover to help <laughs> them save Christmas and it's not a Hallmark movie yet? <laughs> <laughs> Siri, get me Mel Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> that one up. All right. <laughs> Among the movies the film fans will have to rank are Hallmark classics like Crown for Christmas, The Nine Lives of Christmas, Ghost of Christmas Always, Lights, Camera, Christmas, Good Morning Christmas, the 12 Daves of Christmas, no shirt, no shoes, no Christmas. And of course, I started making up those Christmas movie titles halfway through the list and you had no idea, Christmas. 12 Daves, I love the 12 Daves. Meanwhile, Kansas City football man Patrick Mahomes confirmed he's been wearing the same pair of underwear on game day for years. Now, I know people are reacting that way. I gotta come to his defense here. People are trying to make him feel weird about it, but truth be told, every night I do this show, I also wear the same pair of Patrick Mahomes underwear. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Mahomes uh, did assure us that the underwear gets washed sometimes. I wash them every once in a while, at least. I mean, if we're, if we're on a hot streak, I can't wash them, you know? Like, I gotta just keep, keep it rolling. Okay, okay, I understand, but it is definitely time to wash your underwear when you notice a hot streak. Well, anyway, well, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. 
Meanwhile, the American Ornithological Society has announced that offensive bird names will be changed. So, farewell to the gray-breasted yo mama so fat, <laughs> the split-tailed drunken Irishman, and the flop <laughs> guzzling <laughs> ball. Beautiful plumage. Beautiful plumage. We've had that joke around for a while, haven't we, Tom? <laughs> We're like, what show can we put that in? And we were like, how about the last show before a holiday? That sounds like a great night. <laughs> Everybody wants to go home. <laughs> Big ups from the band. Meanwhile, just in time for Thanksgiving, Baskin Robbins is releasing two Thanksgiving-themed desserts. OK, we already have two Thanksgiving-themed desserts, pumpkin pie and a fistful of mashed potatoes eaten at midnight over the sink. One of them is kind of cool. It's a turkey cake that looks like a perfectly roasted turkey filled with any ice cream flavor, and generously coated with a caramel praline glaze, and it looks like this. <laughs> and like this. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Remember, 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 eating this is just like Thanksgiving with the extended family. It's much better if you just got high in the garage. <laughs> we'll be right back with Peter Dinklage.